Richard Snell is on instead of Alan Donald. And instantly, Azarudin latches onto him. And that is a glorious shot through the covers. Now, Snell bowled badly in Chandigarh. And South Africa don't need that now, Sonny. Richard Snell, when he comes into ball, tries to bang the ball in short. He's a young bowler, and he, he thinks that perhaps he's bowling on South African wickets, where if you bowl short, there is a bit of life in it. But over here in India, and particularly at the Eden Gardens, the ball's only going to be sitting up and asking to be hit. This is exactly what Mahmoud Azaruddin has done. That's better. And Azza is on 48. And as they do in these parts, a clapping breaks out around the stadium to see if they can clap him to 50. Well, I think if he got a nick on it, that'll be it. And he did. A wry smile and a little ooh. So the class innings from a class player. They love him in these parts, and just have a look at this for a cheeky shot. I think I'm unintentionally cheeky. Well, Azruddin's hit that many a mile. It's gone for six, just over the rope. That is the first six of the match and just listen to the noise anyone would think India has won the war they go absolutely crazy if India happened to win the match well they'll never go home till midnight and it's going to be de Villiers coming back into the attack at the pavilion end to bowl to Azaruddin. If he hits, he's out! Yes, he's hit, and Amre is run out. That was a brilliant piece of uh, work by de Villiers, and Amre has only himself to blame for a fairly callous, unthinking piece of cricket. Well, that's certainly gone miles. It's four. That was a splendid blow. And this is what worries me. See, if I was a South African, it would worry me about Alan Donald coming on to bowl. He's bowling fast, but it comes onto the back quicker, so he can hit it further. The interesting thing is, uh, Jeff, that he's, this, he's now gone for seven fours in his seven overs. Case proved. That's going to be two more, it's four more. So, 12 off the over. And that really is a tremendous bonus for India. Donald can't believe it. Yes, it's been good cricket today, though, because South Africa held the upper hand early on with some electric fielding. Not just the two runouts were exceptionally good, but a lot of the fielding by all the players has been excellent. And then India are clawing the way back into the game. Oh, that's a fine shot by Kapil Dev, picking the gap between deep backward square and fine leg, timing it beautifully, four runs. 172 for five. This is Snell to Azaruddin. Oh, that's lobbed away over square leg. That's four of them. That's what uh, India and Azaruddin wanted. 189 for seven. And Azaruddin is up to 89 himself. Well, that's good thinking from the skipper. He gave himself a bit of room, walked away to the offside. He knew that there was a wide gap there. There's only a deep fine leg and a long, long gone, wide long gone. The big gap there, and he picked it. Big appeal, and Azaruddin is gone. 
The end of a quite brilliant innings by Mohamed Azaruddin. He's rescued his side from all sorts of trouble. He's out for 90 when he came to the wicket. India were 18 for three, and he leaves them now 189 for eight, having scored 90 of them. And it's been a captain's innings all right on his favourite ground. Azaruddin has scored just about every occasion that he's played at the Eden Gardens. And this is the innings that has given the Indian total some substance. The last two overs, desperate measures required. That's what Azaruddin was trying to do.